and welcome to this video and welcome to the wheel of fortune and today we will look at say <laughs> why your wheel of fortune is not working or doing weird things or disappearing or as you can see just being like this but let me show you when we are done your wheel of fortune will work perfectly it will work like this so let's get into that and let's see why your wheel of fortune is literally bombing out let's start and see why the wheel is spinning all over the place <laughs> okay to do that you obviously made all of these things one group if you watched my previous video the video on how to make the wheel of fortune i'm gonna i cover a lot of things in there so be sure to watch that before you watch this video now the first thing you want to do is ungroup all of these things over here okay so that you can find your pictures and so that you can actually start fixing the fact that the wheel is going all over the place now the reason why that happens is let me click on this picture if you see let's zoom in on this picture you'll see that this picture has corners okay i know it sounds obvious but stick with me here there's one two three four corners the problem with this picture is even though this is the exact place where you would want that the four corners are outside of the circle, which in PowerPoint's mind makes that the outside of the circle. This picture has to be inside the circle. Like you can, the most, the furthest out you could put it would most probably be there. Now, but you would ask me, if I need my picture to be there and that big, how can I solve this problem? Actually easy, to be honest. So what you do is you click on your picture that's too big. You're gonna go all the way up to picture format and you're gonna go to crop. And now what you do is you crop your picture smaller to inside the circle. Leave it there. Make sure that that corner and this corner is inside the outside of the circle and click over there. Now you will see your picture is inside the circle. What you want to do is check each and every one of these. Oh, you see even my bomb is a bit out so I must just move that in. You see on the red line is fine. That is the outer perimeter so there is quite fine. You can experiment. Oh and don't worry about if it overlaps over here. That doesn't matter. That's fine. Uh, now I would just recommend you can check each of your pictures, realign them properly. Make sure oh this one is going to be all over the place. So let me just move this angry boy in here. Okay that boy and then other way to do this is you can spin him a bit more to this side and you will find that he will be fine now okay let's go down oh this girl is also a bit out you see that's why my my wheel of fortune was going all over the place like it was in the in the intro this one i'm just gonna uh crop this picture because i actually want this lady a big i want this one to be a bit bigger again just to show you click on picture format crop the picture bring that closer and i can cut it even closer i'm gonna cut it as close as possible today click outside it's cropped now but this corner is still out so I'm gonna turn her a bit more and I'm gonna move her there so you see you're going to have to work with the picture uh, gonna have to make it a bit smaller uh, that should be fine okay she's fine at the moment let me check this guy he is also out just yes. yeah okay that's better now you understand why this thing was all over the place turn him in uh, I'm gonna turn that one a bit in I say there we are okay then we go in I check my bomb okay so that means now all of them are really nicely arranged as you can see it looks a lot better and don't forget to save <laughs> okay that all also don't forget to click like and subscribe now let's sort out the animations the other reason why your uh, wheel of fortune might not be working but before we do that we have to rename all of the objects on your screen okay so uh, if we want to do that, we must go and click on home, come all the way to the right, click select in the editing window, and then go all the way down to selection pane. That will bring up all of the names of everything that you have on your screen. Now, the only thing that we really want to change the name of is the triangle over here. Okay, if you have a look on the right, you can't see where the triangle is. The name will be some weird something. To find this triangle's name easily, just click on the triangle and you will see it will be highlighted here. Okay, double click here, highlight all of that, rename the name to, I just name it, click here, triangle. 
because you will see later when we do the animations when we want to assign the animations to this button it is easier to find that you can click in the screen anywhere and you can close the selection pane we are done naming everything now I want to add the animations okay we oh but before we add the animations we have to group all of these things together okay so everything that must be in the circle I, for this video's sake I'm just gonna remove the back circle I'm gonna put that there and only work with the things that must spin remember these this is the wheel this is only the part that must spin okay so we want these pictures and all of the triangles to spin so I can select all of them and then I can press Control G okay that will change everything into one object now if I move them as you can see they move as one okay now we must start rearranging everything to its original place easy to do that click on the back circle first center and center and that one is in a perfect center click on the front circle the one you want to spin click on center and center and there you are everything is perfectly aligned and perfectly in the middle of the screen now move your triangle your click button or what you want to start and stop the animations with move that into place and we're ready to start the animations okay before we start the animations open your animation pane oh while i'm here i've got a video on how to set up your quick access bar like this believe me this makes it much easier to build games to do everything and to just actually make your life easier so check that out on the right top of the screen the first animation that you want to add to your group that you made over here would be the spinning animation okay so that would be on emphasis and spin and also do remember you have to add the animations in this order spin will go first okay and as you can see all of a sudden it is spinning right so right click on your group spin over there click on timing and what we want to do is decrease the time to one second that makes it really fast and on the next one you want to click on uh, repeat until next click okay very important that must be until next click don't give it a number and also don't do it until end of next slide click it until next click that's fine then you can say okay I know there are triggers over here don't worry about the triggers now we're gonna trigger everything to together uh, but don't if you don't know what I'm talking about don't worry about this now just say okay okay the next animation you want to add to the group that you made is the appear animation okay the appear first one to the top left just click on it it is right there and everything is fine actually now you have all of the animations that you need to make your wheel of fortune work perfect so the only thing that's left to do now is to align a trigger to these two i like to do the trigger together because both of them are applicable to our group select the first one hold down control select the second one and you are ready to assign that now come up to animations and come all the way to your advanced animation pane over here click on trigger mouse over on click off and find the name of the triangle that we gave it earlier so I said click here triangle click that and you will see a new heading will will appear over here this heading should say trigger and the name of whatever you gave your triangle I gave mine click here triangle and that should be if you don't see that watch this video slowly again and you will be able to fix your wheel of fortune after you've done that your wheel of fortune will do this let's see if it works okay now three two one oh yeah as you can see it's spinning perfectly because none of the pictures are outside of the circle none of the pictures are overlapping or doing something funny everything is where it's supposed to be and it's spinning until I click the triangle there we go stop oh there we go I can start it again and it's like oh and then there we are let's go to the lady that's jumping oh and let's say I want that angry boy wow okay and there we are so that is how you fix your spinning wheel of fortune thank you guys for watching thank you guys for supporting and comment below if this helped you in any way thank you guys this is teacher Aubrey I'll see you in the next one